Oh, hi there. <laughs> okay, you got me. Just taking a little breather before I get on with the rest of my busy day. Now, let's see. Where did I put that list? Now, oh, hey, look who's here. It's our playful woodland creature friend, Bucky. What's that? An urgent message. <laughs> oh, no. Poppy's on his way? Again? But I still have so many things on my to-do list. Here, look for yourself. Deliver mushroom pizza to Pacha. Teach Junior Chipmunks to river dance. Build new treehouse for Bucky. <laughs> really? Squeak a squeakin'? <laughs> but that's in two hours. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, don't panic, Krog. Don't panic. Ah, I'll never be ready in time. Never, 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 never. Now, as you can see, he's got three things left to do on his list. And he's got to get them done before Daddy arrives. That's where you come in. Yeah, lucky you. Hey, why do I hear Cusco in my head? Uh, you're not my new shoulder angel, are you? Uh, no. I'm just here to grease the old wheels a bit. Now, all you need to do is choose one of those icon doohickeys that you think will help Kronk finish each errand the quickest. Because Poppy's on his way, trust me. He no likey when Kronky not ready. Ah, I gotta deliver this pizza to Pacha and his sweet deserving family, but they ordered mushrooms on it, and I don't have any! Oh, I'd really love to help you, but I'm late for my jazz dance, you know? I mean, kickboxing class. Squeakity squeakers, squeakers. Squeakity squeak and squeak and squeakers. Sorry, can't help you, pal. I got strife at 11, a plague at noon, and my nephew's harp recital at 1.30. I'm swapped. Okay, it's simple. I'll locate a shady knoll, deposit mushroom spores, find a wizard to send me into the future, collect the fully grown mushrooms, find another or the same slightly older wizard to send me back in time, put mushrooms in slicer, place on pizza, cook, and deliver. Now, wait a minute. Oh, that won't work. My mushroom slicer's in the shop. Oh, well, that didn't work. But you gotta keep your cool, Krog. That's right. No reason to lose cool. Cool is not to be lost. Ah! Now, this should work. I'll chop down a mighty oak, whittle it into a shopping basket, have a troop of acrobats teach me some primo moves, work up a show, go on tour, become rich enough to buy a big mushroom farm, and bingo! I'm home free. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Why the shopping basket? Woo! I knew you could do it, and you, you didn't even make me compromise my dignity and bag now. All right, I got it all worked out. I'll build a ship out of surplus toothpicks, sail the world in search of an enchanted cobbler elf to fashion magic dancing shoes, return, and get the shoes made a part of the official chipmunk uniform, and after one fitting, boom, baby! Instant pros of the wetland rhythms. All right. Okay, this is good. Now, just one more errand to take care of, and then I might just be ready in time and not have to suffer humiliation and self-loathing at the hand of my father that'll spiral into a never-ending state of angst-ridden guilt. No problem. Okay, all I need to do is relocate one villager so that Bucky will have a place to live. All right, wait a minute. That means I'm gonna have to move a second villager over here to make room for the first villager, then a third villager over there to make room for the second guy, then her here, him there, them there, those over there, move the bakery, the shoe store, the llama farm, the pudding shop, this there, that there, that over there, those over there, right, right. Well, I may have to rethink this a little. Oh, well, that didn't work. Okay. I'll simply raid a local wheat field, grind the wheat into dough, then form the dough into a house and bake the house made from dough out of wheat at 400 for two hours. Then let it cool until inhabitable. Yeah. Yeah. That ought to work. Oh, hey, look at that. You did it. That was really, really nice of you. Oh, no. I, I, I told myself I wouldn't cry. Okay. I'm better now. Anyway, now that you... Help me finish my errands, I can hold my head up high when Poppy arrives, and, uh, speaking of my head, well, you can 
probably, you know, go now if you want. Oh, and be sure to turn the light off when you leave, will ya? I mean, after all, a good junior chipmunk never leaves a room or, in this case, the inside of somebody's head without turning the light off, right? And uh, don't worry, I won't be using it anyway. Bye.